Hello fellow gamers, welcome to my new side LP of LEGO Racers. Kevin J2010 here. And considering this is the first episode, we're gonna start with building a new car. Let's delete some of our old racers. That's the one I used in the trailer. And that's my buddy's old car. Long, long time ago. And that was my other car I made. Okay, so we're gonna start with a new racer on my controller pack A. Okay, so let's make him look somewhat like me. I consider myself very average looking, so I give myself a normal face. Well, actually, I consider myself quite ugly, but I digress. Um, let's just give myself some cool shades, actually. Is this me or did everyone have... Everyone in, like, their Lego sets, they always had one of those sort of hats. Like, one of those pieces of the guy with that hat. Now, because I'm actually using a file that's a little bit farther into the game, I'm gonna try setting it up that I only use things that I could have unlocked by this point. So... Already gone through the whole thing. Let's just give myself a... There's no red hats. Okay, then fine. I'm gonna have to go with a red helmet. That's the face. And it's a cool shirt. Yeah, everyone had that piece, don't you think? I, th I think everyone had that piece. I like that. Let me give him some... Let me give him with white pants with red on them. Oh, that looks good, actually. There we go. Very basic looking driver. I won't change him throughout the entire LP. Oh, I gotta put in his name. Now, the naming for this is so hard to do, actually. I actually, I don't know why. It just, it just annoys me to do this. Ah, jeez, I don't know why it's so annoying. It's just weird, because one, it's stiff. And two, it just has like it like left and right picks the letters. And it's like right now, you could think I put in the name right, but I actually didn't until I hit the A button. And then there we go. I want him to be Angry Face, because Angry Face is funny. And we're gonna go to whoopsie. Meant to go to build car. Oh yeah, give a kiss to the crowd. Let's build his car. Okay. But first we start with the chassis. Um, I can't use this one yet because technically I shouldn't have it unlocked yet. So I'm actually just going to go with this one because this is the one I usually go with. Um, the car I'll try to upgrade in between every uh, week of this uh, video. So that way it has like a nice smooth um, edit schedule I guess. Oh that looks good actually. We're going to put those on for sure. He's gonna go on the sides for sure. Everything looks cooler when it's streamlined like this. Nah, actually, that doesn't look that good. A, th this this game has like a lot of problems when it comes to like this design. But you know what? I'm generally okay with it because it's an N64 game. You have to give it a little bit of uh, credit for being what it is. No, let's put this right there. See if we can find some sort of, uh, see if we can find, like, some sort of lights or something, like headlights. If we can find some sort of headlights, that'd be really good. Come on, we gotta have some headlights. Oh, we're definitely having some of these in there, though. Uh, how do I switch Z? There we go. That's definitely going on the back there. Aw, uh, you have no idea how fun this is to do, like, just doing what I'm doing right now. Like, because keep in mind, this is sort of like the game I grew up playing on the N64, so... Aw, uh, really? And here's the problem, if you make a small mistake, you have to, like, go all the way back to fix it, and that's what annoys me most about this game. Just, not what annoys me most about the game, but what just annoys me about the building. Okay, I need to find a 3x2 black block here. There they are. It's just me, like, whenever you built with LEGO, whenever you had a 3x2 block, you never knew where to use them, because they're just not... They're not a square shape. I don't know. Anyway, you may have noticed that this LP is gonna have, uh... Pretty long, uh... Videos, if you can tell by looking in the bottom. Um, reason for that is I want to just be myself during this. Very simple recording, editing 
uh, setup. So okay, we're gonna want one of these on there, just on the back, so he has like a sense of speed, I guess. And what he needs is like a little bit of a one of these, uh, one of the longer ones. Can we just get one of these then. Put it like right there. That looks pretty cool actually, I like that. Let's put some blue ones on the side. Just to give it a little bit of flavor. And then the opposite direction one. There we go, pretty... Oopsie. And there's our car. Pretty basic looking car. I like it, I like it. Let's go. It almost looks like I just made that in Lego. Trust me, it'd be pretty bad. You can go to test drive. I generally don't bother with going into test drive, but you can if you want. Anyway, into circuit race. The first race in the game is Imperial Grand Prix. Hosting champion, Captain Redbeard. Let's go. I'm going to pick my new car with his angry face. Are on the high seas or on the land. You are no match for the great Captain Redbeard, so give it up, matey. Har har. Okay, so while I'm doing this, I can explain how the game works. Um, like most kart racers on the N64, hit the A button right as it's about to say go, and you get a boost. Pretty simple. Controlling is simple. A is acceleration. Remember, A for accelerate, B for brake. I remember for the longest time, that's how I remembered it. R is for drifting. Usually it is. Same with Z, I believe. Nope, Z is to use your item, and now I've wasted an item. Dang it. Um, the way the uh, races are set up are you're supposed to... Um, if you, to move on to the next Grand Prix, you have to come in at least third or better. Now, for the LP sake, I'll try to get coming in third or better on screen, but if you come in fourth, you actually unlock um, the Lego set that the captain pertains to, or the champion of the race. Um, so, yeah, I may only come in third to first, but off screen, I'll at least come in, I'll at least come in uh, fourth, I mean third, just so I can show you that I at least moved on. And um, now I want to talk about the upgrading. Now you see there's white blocks and multiple colored blocks. Um, basically, the color blocks pertain to different types of attacks, and the white blocks are actually change what kind of attack it is. And it powers it up, essentially. So, for example, blue is all your shields. They make you invincible. As long as you have blue, you're invincible. Um, yellow are your drop-behind-you hazards. Um, red are your forward attacking ones, like a cannonball, and we'll see all the different ones. And green is your boost. Now, fully powered green is probably the most powerful uh, attack in the game, or uh, upgrade in the game, just because it's just so powerful. So I've only got level 2, but having the ability to boost myself is just really cheap. And we've won the race, so it's pretty simple. I just thought I would explain to you guys how it works, how the um, racing stuff works, and I came in first place. The first races aren't too bad. The rest of the races get a little bit harder. And this is my first time doing a cart, uh, cart racer LP, so please be weary with me. Okay. I actually like the music in this place. So yeah, um, for this LP, I'm generally just gonna try going through one race a week, or one uh, Grand Prix a week. I believe there's a, yeah, there's a shortcut right here. I actually have not played this game in a long time, besides when I recorded the trailer, so... I don't even know. Be careful of these ghosts, because these ghosts will screw you up. Um, one thing you may want to know about um, the races is that each race has not necessarily a theme, but along with who you're racing, they all sort of have like their go-to weapons. Captain Redbeard, I believe his thing is he goes for red blocks mainly. He tries to be very offensive and oil can really screw you up, can't it? Jesus. Anyway, 
And I'll tell you about ev what every single one of them uses as we go through them. But I know Redbeard generally goes for the red. Just because he'll, he'll shoot general uh, cannonballs, which is pretty cool. But they kind of made the captain of a, like a pirate, you know, shoot that. Um, when you get hit, by the way, by um, a red attack, you don't lose... Um, you don't lose whatever you're holding, but you will lose the white block. Unlike in, uh, uh, not Lego Racers, unlike in Mario Kart, where if you get hit, you might drop your item completely. Fully powered green, as you've seen before, does that. It's very cheap. It just warps you ahead in the game. Um, you're going to see me do it a lot, though, because I, I'm actually decent at this game. I'm surprised I've kept my skill, considering I haven't played it in so long. But then again, playing, a uh, playing with fully upgraded greens is sort of the best way to play this game so it, it makes it makes it generally easier just to play by those rules anyway so yeah um, if you haven't noticed if you don't follow me on Twitter I'm actually starting a vlog channel I'll post up an actual video to sort of promote it in a bit in first place again but I'm just giving you guys a little heads up now I'm gonna be doing a vlog channel sort of thing in very soon it's hard for me to find the time to record a vlog. I gotta get out of the, out of my nervousness to just walk around with a camera pointing at me. I do really like my camera though. I'm trying to find good render settings for it too because I want to make it sort of sharp and stuff. Okay, this race I actually really like and I always remember this track. It's not necessarily like a, like a hard track or like a, it poses a decent challenge. It's just, I always remember it. Okay. There's a green I'm looking for. No, the shortcut here is weird to take, let me tell you. What you want to do is you actually want to activate these in a certain order. I don't know what order to go them in, to take them in. And you can see right there, it wanted me to go blue, red, red. So next time when I come through, I'm actually going to want to go blue, red, red. So that's one thing you want to do. What do the other ones do? Just, yeah, down C will look behind you. I'm playing this on an actual 64, unlike Super Mario 64. I'm actually playing on Wii Virtual Console. Shh, it's a secret. But yeah, I'm just being weird. Um, oh, this is the first. Oh, blue. Please tell me I went. Oh, I thought I was. Okay, never mind. I screwed that up. I thought I was already at the second gate, so I. Okay. That was my fault. I apologize. Okay, so I'm warping through this level pretty quickly. I've actually looked up videos of like people who are really good at this game. It, 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 I don't, I started thinking after that, I'm like, maybe I'm not that good at this game, I'm just, like, I just know what I'm doing. And that makes me look decent or some, I don't know. So yeah. CoCom with Masayanella yesterday was a lot of fun. If you put in the code in correctly, you will get a boost here, which will give you three white blocks. But we're already done the race anyway. Anyway. Yeah, it's pretty fast, the game's actually pretty short. I often forget about this, how short this game really is. I like some of the names, though. Android. Get it? Because her name is like Anne, but her last name is Droid. Oh, this race. I always remember this track, too. I remember all the first tracks. What am I talking about? In fact, you know, I'm going to probably say that a lot throughout this LP. I'm going to say, oh, I remember that. You know, I remember this. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I'm going to keep saying that for, like, everything, because I do remember everything. Um, there's a shortcut here. There's actually two shortcuts in this track here. Um, I'm kind of, I feel kind of bad that I'm not being all loud and excited over this LP just yet, but uh, I promise as I keep going, I will eventually get a little bit more into it, especially when the game gets harder. Let's be honest, everyone loves it when games are hard for LPs. It's just what you guys love. I'm waiting to get a white block right here. There we go. Now I actually passed the the uh, the uh, shortcut there, but the other shortcut you can take is right here, and it gives you three white blocks, and you get a green. We yeah, I think I'm a little too good at this game, aren't I? <laughs> I'm just being weird. I don't know. Been in a pretty decent mood as of late. Pretty excited to get the vlogging done. I'm actually taking this semester off from school. Long story, long story short, I actually can't go back to school, but I'm taking it off as like a break. 
So it, it feels pretty good to have like a break from school. Because in reality I didn't get one. Because I had a... Uh, I actually had a summer semester. So I didn't actually... Like I had classes all summer. So it kind of really sucked. But yeah, I'm glad I sort of got that all figured out. Opening my shield. Doesn't matter. But yeah. So... I've, I'm pretty, I've been pretty excited as of late. And we've come in first in every race, which give us a perfect score of 120, which is the perfect score you can get in the game. Um, if you tie, you automatically come in first, which is sort of nice of the game, I guess. And we came in first. Although I do feel kind of bad, although I'm not doing using a new file. Um, there's a little thing that would happen there. I'm going to probably cut to it, but there's a little thing that happens... It'll cut to whoever you just beat. In this case, it was uh, Captain Redbeard. Cut to him saying, "Oh, you beat me here. Take my car and my Lego set and everything." Um, I might, rec I might download a YouTube video of it just so I can show you guys what it looks like. It's a pretty pretty interesting idea. But anyway, so next time on Lego Racers, we are going to be taking on whoops I We're gonna be taking on circuit number two, hosting champion King Kahuka. And I will see you guys I will see you guys all next time. We'll be upgrading our cart beginning next episode. Remember that. See you guys later.